Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Here in the Portland area, we're fortunate to have Dale Larson participating in our clubs. And we frequently have activities in his shop. Well, on one of those occasions, I saw that he had a large sanding disc that he uses on his lathe. He uses his to finish the surfaces and bottoms of green turn bowls that have warped that need to be trued up. I thought I need that need one for that purpose also, also to true up segmented rings that I've prepared. The advantage of a disc of this sort is that it does not have a mounting table that cuts off half the capacity. I can use the entire disc for whatever I need. So to do this, I ordered the biggest piece of aluminum that would fit on my lathe. This one is, I ordered as little over 20 inches, 20 and a quarter inches, and it is one quarter inch thick. I also got a eight inch faceplate that was made by Howard Borer, another member of our club, but they're also available online. Through the surface of the plate, I drilled the holes to match the faceplate, countersunk the, the, screw, uh, the holes for the screws, and bolted then that to the steel faceplate. After that was mounted, I took it over to Howard's again, and with a metal cutting bandsaw, that saved me a lot of work with a hacksaw. We cut it round and then trued it up with a scraper on his lathe, which is a little bit bigger than mine in capacity. Made it a whole lot easier. Then when I brought it home, I saw that it had a little bit of run out, so I shimmed it just a little bit with a piece of soda can that's around on this edge right here to make it run true. In using this, I run it at a very slow speed uh, to maintain control, and then I slow down the lathe to very close to stop before I shut it off so that it doesn't spin off. If you make one, order your sandpaper first to make sure that you can get the size that you've chosen for your lathe, and make sure you run it at a slow speed, and then enjoy your sanding disc that you can use in all sorts of places in your projects.